Hey, it's Chuck from Jockey Machine. Been in the office today, but wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to measure out brake lines, custom brake lines. So you're doing a new build, you want some new brake lines, look a little bit nicer, maybe have some nicer fittings and stuff like that. So the first thing to do is go get yourself some fuel line or some sort of hose like this, right? Uh, go ahead and put one side to the brake caliper to in the middle of the bolt that you're going to be attaching this to and then run it through the bike the way you want it and then figure out where the other part is going to be connecting to your master cylinder or whatever. Then once you got this length, measure it. Now, the thing is, depending on who you use for your custom brake lines, uh, I personally use Spangler, um, they, there's no universal uh, measurement for the ends. So what you're gonna get typically is a brake line that is from the center of the banjo bolt, like that. So from the center of here to the center of the other side. Um, you can go with a looped end like this, you know, that the banjo bolt fits through, or you can even get ones that actually have the threaded end where you just thread the hose directly into the caliper or into the uh, master cylinder. So this is one that I had uh, custom made for the rear brake. Uh, I measured 20 inches from my, master my, my rear master cylinder to the rear brake and that's pretty much what I got. Um, so from this bend here, which would be the center, uh, to the center of this hole is 20 inches. This here, this part here where they crimp and do things, it just depends. So if you go with Spangler or you go with somebody else, this distance here is gonna differ. So typically when you say, I need 20 inches, they're going to go from the center of this to the center of this, and that's what you're gonna get. It's always good, and I've learned this from the Spangler folks, to go a little bit longer. If you go a little bit longer, that's fantastic. You can get it shipped in, you can measure it, you can try putting it on. If it's, a, if it's too long, then you can go back to Spangler and say, okay, here, I'm gonna give you this line back. Can you just shorten it up a tad? It's better to get it cut than you cannot lengthen it. So if you go a little bit bigger, that's better. Uh, now let me tell you a little bit about the Spangler lines and the reason why I like them. One, they give you all these really cool ends that you can, you can get. They go black ends, black line, which I always like black better than anything else. Uh, also is the way they crimp these ends. So you'll see this little silver piece here. It's got uh, some uh, texture to it. It's almost, it's almost like a, a wrench end, right? Um, what, the way this is crimped on here, you can see this little bubbled out part, this intermediate part, and that's where the fitting goes in. What they do is when they send you the kit, they send you these two little pieces that uh, kind of connect to themselves like that. And what you can do is you can actually take this, put it onto this fitting, like so. And what happens is you put this in a vise because maybe when you connect this end, this end isn't flat anymore to where it's gonna connect with the brake. So what you do is you use this little plastic dowel, you put it in here, and you can actually rotate it to where you need it. So then it lays flat and there's no twist in the line. So I really like that about their stuff. Uh, on top of that, when you order up their, their uh, lines, they will give with it your banjo bolts. So these are nice black ionized uh, aluminum banjo bolts. Uh, they come with the crush washers, the whole nine. So I've been buying brake lines from them for a couple years now, and I've not had anyone fail. They fit well. The measurements work out well. You give a call to their customer service. You tell them what you're putting it on, what you're dealing with. Like with the 550 project, I'm dealing with a ZX6 uh, front end. 
tell them what it is, tell them what the calipers are, and they basically give you everything you need. The bolts the, for the calipers, the double banjo bolt for the master cylinder, and then I'm using Brembo brakes for the back. So they know the difference as well, right? So the front's going to be, uh, you know, 14 millimeter with uh, one and a quarter thread versus 14 millimeter with one uh, thread. So they know. So just a little uh, tip, how to measure out your uh, hoses and your brake lines and uh, give Spangler a call. If you have any more suggestions on what you do when you get custom brake uh, lines, go ahead and put it in the comments below and uh, look forward to seeing your comments. Thanks.